Every now and then, something new rolls along that enhances our way of life. The Mudsmith Gauge Wheel was created by farmers for farmers to improve operations and to save you time and energy in the fields. Call or visit our website to see how we reinvented the wheel. Manufactured by Mudsmith, LLC. Perennial weeds are a whole different deal like our Weed of the Week Canada Thistle. Well, the trouble with a lot of perennial weeds like Canada Thistle is it has rhizomes down below ground and these are going to shoot up with new shoots. I mean, it's a great big root system you end up with this Canada Thistle plant and the problem is you've got to not only control the growing points in the plant that you see above ground, you've got growing points to kill below ground and then maybe even the growing points for these shoots that have sprung up above ground maybe 10 feet away. Away. So it takes a tremendous herbicide to get control like that. Well the old herbicides we used like 2,4-D got used a lot. It burned off the top growth, didn't do a thing to the roots. Bassagran in soybeans and many other broadleaf crops was a nice option. It burned off the top growth, didn't kill the roots. Now we've got some products like Tordon that's been out for a long time, Milestone which is fantastic, Stinger which is very good. There's yep. some good options now where we can kill yep. the roots. And system. let's not forget about Roundup. But here's the thing with Roundup. If you think a quart of Roundup is going to control a Canada thistle permanently, uh, you're, you're sadly mistaken. It's going to take a lot more than that. In a lot of cases it'll take two quarts if not even three quarts. And the other thing is if you're doing tillage out in your field, don't do tillage before you spray that Roundup. Leave it untilled. At least let's say it's a thistle patch. Just lift your disc up over or whatever tillage you that you have lifted up over the top of that, leave it untilled, you'll have much better luck because we want to have all those roots tied together so we can dump a strong rate of Roundup on there and it'll get all the way through that big extensive root system and kill it all permanently. Okay, let's talk about crops then. In wheat, your best option is going to be something with stinger in it, like wide match for example. You could spike up a little bit more stinger potentially as well. In pasture and non-crop land, Milestone is by far the best product, but in crop, in corn and in soybeans. This is where the challenge is. You can't wait till in crop. You've got to hit it with a strong shot before the crop gets up because we want to use a, a big rate. Now in soybeans you could use two quarts. In corn you can only use a quart and a half. A quart and a half may or may not do it. So again I would use a strong rate right before the plants come out of the ground. Well the other thing is if you can do it in the fall. If you can spray right before the first hard killing frost we have great luck with a lot of these Big products. difference though. So I just talked to a farmer a couple of days ago that said he had Roundup resistant Canada thistle. And I said, I don't think there is such a thing. But the problem was he sprayed after his hard killing frost. Well, your control goes from 80% down to 20%. I've seen in a lot of studies after that first hard killing frost. You need to spray at least one to two weeks before the first hard killing frost in your area. Well, Canada thistle is certainly a tough weed to control, so don't let it get away from you on your farm. That's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.